Ugh. What are you making today, Ken? Chicken. Chicken. I don't know. It's uh, there's a bunch of stuff on it. Where would you marinate with? A bunch of stuff. It's a secret. Stuff? It's like a. That's not a secret recipe. Well, there's cinnamon in there. Oh. There's uh. Ah, there's... Might have wanted to take that out a little. That's good. Oh, oh, there it is. Thank you. Oh, now I gotta push it back in. So I put a bunch of spices, Lowry seasoning salt, um, Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire sauce, some nutmeg, salt and pepper, Ooh. paprika. How long did you marinate for? Like a few hours. A few hours? Yeah, a few hours. So. Should be good. You guys, uh, yeah, we can marinate for a few hours. Doesn't have to be a full day marination. Yeah. Next day cook. I mean, it's already the simple chicken, eats. Yeah, the chicken's pretty sliced up already, so it'll it'll be pretty even. Ooh. And you said chicken breast? Yeah, they're chicken tender breasts. Chicken tender breast, white meat. I got it from Trader Joe's, and it's uh, all natural, um, organic too. That's pretty cool. Can's cooking the brown rice, and I am gonna make a. I think I'm gonna make. What do you guys want to eat today? I'll make smoothies and I'm also gonna make uh, some flaming mignon. That looks good. We got four pieces here. But I'm only cook one today. It's good to see. You should freeze it after uh, <coughs> we open it though. Oh yeah, freeze it so freeze it doesn't it. go bad. Yeah. This time we're not gonna, for you guys to have a grill, I'm gonna cook the same way as you guys are. We do have a, a grill outside but we're not gonna use it today. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna pan fry it. We're gonna pan fry, exactly. Pan fry this shit. So for the ones that don't have a rice cooker, I'll show you how to cook with this guy here. Um, and for the guys who don't have a grill, I'll show you how to cook with this guy here. Um, and majority of people would have an oven, not this one, but a conventional oven like this. An easy way to cooking food. So what did you first is have the rice prepared? Um, for people who are just eating by themselves, usually I don't put that much rice in it. You don't want to overcook rice too. At the same time, you want to undercook it. Um, with this rice, this is brown rice right here. We have this in a container. Regular brown rice, you can get it at almost any market. Um, I think this is the one we have right now. It's Nishiki brown rice. Can's making music right now. And someone's home. We're gonna put about a centimeter high. Not that much. This is about good enough for one person. The rice expands as well, so. This is it. Brown rice does take longer to cook, so you can put about four times more water than you normally supposed to for regular white rice. So put it up. Let it level up a little. About like that much. No, a little bit more. Here we go. I eyeball everything, so excuse me for you guys. This is a quick meal. I'm not doing the whole Iron Chef shit right now. I um, don't have time for that stuff. And then get a little top here. Cover it up. Kind of. So there, similar shit, but not really. It cooks the same way. I can tell you guys remember to wash your hands carefully when you guys are dealing with meat, um, especially with poultry too. If you're cooking with chicken, stuff like that, and raw chicken, wash your hands because you never know what bacteria it carries. But at the same time, it's good to have bacteria because it helps you build your immune system. But this here, this is the flaming oil cut piece. It's very uh. And uh, this is about this right serving size you get most restaurants flaming young. Sometimes you see it cut into cubic pieces. Um, you go to Rizmi's restaurants, they call it like diced beef, whatever. And you have kind of like that, and it comes with rice and shit like that. I would create the same thing today, but set my style olive oil, corn oil, sesame oil. This is vegetable oil, I think. Yes, it is. The oil is the meat, so it won't stick to the pan. Then we do this. Add a little bit here. And then you have different seasonings. Now we can choose the type of seasoning you guys want. Um, what I usually go with when it comes to flaming oil is I do add a little bit of, um, or is it stir fry? There's not much of this, but just a bit of that. Give it a nice sweet flavor. And then the majority of stuff would be pepper, ground pepper, seasoning with pepper. And then this shit. Now I don't have I don't have a lemon on me. So I'm using Larry's uh, lemon and pepper. So that's done. Uh, see now, just pretty much put the seasoning in there. Stuff it around. All right, and then I usually add a little bit of sesame oil. Like give it actually a slight good scent and and taste as well. A little bit, not too much. There's a lot of oil you see, you guys. Use. But I usually let this all go away later on. I don't use all that oil 
I just use it to cook, and then everything else remaining, I kind of let it go. What I'm going to do is going to grab my tongs and add it into the pan right here. And then just pretty much roll it around. Roll it around. Roll it around. It's not cooking yet, just roll it around in the pretty much this seasoning first. Now, I like my flaming long medium rare, so you see a little bit of blood after this is done. So let it marinate and then sit for a bit. And while this is sitting, we're going to do something really quick. What we're going to do right here is make a smoothie. Yeah. So, here, this is pretty much a simple blender. It's not expensive. You can probably get this one of like at Target or some shit like that. But, if you guys want to go hardcore, you can go with the Blendtec or Fiberware, which is like food processor, or a juicer, which is right here. And I forgot what company this one is. But I'm gonna use frozen strawberries. Um, for you guys who don't have mango at home, it doesn't want to use fresh mango. I, I, I recommend you use fresh mangoes, but if you guys want to save time and stuff, but then you have enough time, I go with the simple bottle of naked juice mango one, um, just for the sweetener. Uh, don't use much of it though. And then you have almond milk for you guys who are lactose intolerant. Then another addition would be <coughs> frozen bananas, which is an amazing addition. It actually is a, a national sweetener for your smoothies. And today we're going to do kind of like a green machine kind of thing. We're going to go ooh, and get spinach. Now, I use a lot and a lot of spinach for uh, my smoothies. Why? Because it's good. And I don't like to eat salad sometimes. So I just blend it all into one thing and drink it. So you don't want to add too much solids and you want to kind of equal it out with your liquids, right? So if you put too many frozen stuff in there, it's going to come out like a slushy. Um, everything will be, won't be as smooth as a smoothie. It's going to go in right here. Yeah, maybe go up to like 200. There you go. A little bit more. 300 and the rest we go up to 400 milliliters 400 milliliters of, uh, of almond milk and then about a hundred milliliters of mango juice right there so pretty much this much of liquids and then everything else will be solids so one whole banana is fun and then you're gonna blend it first so let this blend so you're gonna see what it comes out to this one twist on and you push it Okay, you blend for about 15 seconds or so. Hey, so chicken is done, bacon. And it's gonna pan fry. I'm oh, sorry, I'm just gonna bake it. Oh, he's just gonna bake it? Yeah. He's just gonna bake it. Uh oh. And she still has her, what is this, natural? It's a raw vegan strawberry milk. It's a raw vegan strawberry milk. <laughs> what kind of milk do you use? Like almond milk? Uh -huh. I make I make my own almond milk using coconut water and raw almonds. Whoa, do you have a, a sample of raw almonds? Totally on? raw, bro. Raw. So how do you make yeah, it raw it's almonds? Good. Um, honestly, I don't know if it's actually raw. But here's my here's my nuts. No ice. Her nuts. My nuts. Her nuts. She gets shelled raw almonds. Hey, they don't know English. Yeah, Whatever they do. Yeah. And the rice. Anyway. Go back up there. Back up there. Are you soaking almonds? Uh, right I will now? soak them no. today. She will right soak now. almonds. I soak them every day. And then now I'm gonna add in spinach to this guy. Yeah. <laughs> spinach. That's what I had. The earlier. whole batch. These beautiful jars. Into here. Right. It just kind of just shoved in there. Shove it in. Shove it in there. Shove it in. But you don't want to overpack a blender because sometimes it will get stuck. And, and that's the bad thing. It. Yeah, you want to break it. Okay. But make sure there's a lot enough liquids in there too so it won't it won't uh it. There you go. But oh has she has a I break the blender every time I use that blender. <laughs> that's why I had to get another blender. Yeah, so that's what your blend tech. <laughs> she can just throw anything in there. Yeah, and not break it. <laughs> Look at this, it looks like green juice or ooze. Green. And then I'm gonna make it brown because when I add in strawberries, this will become a nasty color. <laughs> but it becomes green later again, which is really odd. Really? Yeah. If you let it sit for a while, it becomes green again. I didn't know that. Yeah. I, you thought, I thought it just 
No. Brown, like if you add strawberries to a green smoothie. Yeah, I let it sit for a bit. I had more more spinach than strawberries, though, for sure. So about like uh, I put like about four to five strawberries, maybe six, depending on the size. And maybe one more. One, one more strawberry. One Voila. And the smoothie is done. Now you can check this out. Pour it out here. You can see how much it actually it actually naturally just fills it up nicely. So Oh, it's really watch out. Oh that. shit! I'll let it slowly come out. Look at that. It looks nasty, but it's good for you. Oh, it's gross. Look at that. Ew, ew. It looks like slime and garbage. Okay, what are you gonna do with that? I'll just eat it later. Oh, nice. There you go. It smells so good. There I you wish go. there was smell vision So if it's uh, if it's too liquidy, you can add more ice cubes in it and make it more thick. But it comes out nice. No ice cubes at all. It's okay. So the rice is cooking. Let it cook. Smoothie is done. So there you go. That's for the the, the salad salad replacement. And now on to the filet mignon. Now we're gonna cook this slow. Um, for the people who like to sear it, it, it cooks the outside very fast and then the inside's still raw, so I'm just gonna cook it in between it. Um, I don't want it to be too seared, so where the outside's like too, a little bit too, uh, too cooked and the inside's a little too raw. I'm kinda, kinda like a, I want an even level cook into the middle, but then the middle I'm gonna keep it medium rare, so uh, if you guys don't know what sear is, is when you sear the thing, we like to sear it usually for the grill, but when you sear it, you can always, sears are always high. Right, high. So this is a high cooking and you sear it. But then you guys want it a little halfway down. This is, this is where I usually cook it, right here, around 76. Flip's not too high. As you see, the beef is slowly cooking. Uh, it's not cooking too fast, which is good. You don't want to overcook it either. So it's a nice, nice slow cook. And for the brown rice, it's almost done. Look at that. So waiting for all the water to evaporate from it. And plus you don't want to kind of stick to the pot either. And you kind of scrape it up a little. And But you don't want to mix it around way too much because it would be all mushy if you mix it around too much. After a while slow cooking, I turn up the, the fire to maximum to sear it on one side. So it's slightly crispy, right? But it's still soft. You can see that it's still soft. It's still raw inside. You, you look inside, it's still slightly red. Which just how it's good. You gotta cook it a little bit longer and then you'll have the inside medium rare. The rice is done. Um, now usually from some people you guys to keep your plate hot or food, food hot. You usually heat up your plate so you either put it over fire and it'll keep the plate warm. Super warm. And it also keeps your food warm too so if you don't get cold if you finish one before the other. So I'm a kind of guy that likes a little more vegetables in my diet. Well, I'm keeping the smoothie here and here so we keep it cool while I'm cooking the rest of the food. Um, but to save time, I usually go out to like Costco and buy like organic mixed vegetables, um, frozen. Um, this one like carrots and peas and stuff like that. They also have like uh, bigger like, uh, broccoli here. Um, vegetables and frozen vegetables, and they're not bad, they're, they're all good at the same time. Oh, I still have chicken, I forgot. I have chicken back there. Ah. But yeah, these are the meats and stuff I'll be adding to my diet as well. So, so with the vegetables, I usually add about this much, like two cups or so. And then I add in water just right above the vegetables level. Um, and then here, I'm going to pretty much cook it. Um, usually I best recommend people steam it, you have want all the nutrients. But if you boil it like this, it kills most of the nutrients, but I just want a quick meal. So we do this, kind of cook it on a full level. Pretty much you cook this until you see the water boil. And when the water boils, that's when the veggies are done. Alright, veggies are done, and my flaming on is done. Oh, it's still bleeding on the side there. Uh, but it's cooked to a, to a point where I love it to be at. I'm um, still pretty much raw in the center. Semi-rare. And I'm going to add that to my plate here. In under 20 minutes, you have all this shit! Including canned food. <laughs> But you guys like uh, seasoning to your rice, and there's like burukake, which is pretty much Ooh, nori. Is it? Nori. Is it the burukake? Is this on yours? I bought one. You bought the green one or the blue one? Black. It's called something black nori. Alright, this mine's just nori. 
don't know. It's the one that's in the spice rack. Okay. Different one. But here you go. Pretty much it's uh, sesame seeds and and seaweed pretty much. And it adds a nice seasoning to your rice if you don't no want plain MSG. rice. No MSG. This this is the uh, the Japanese product one. Don't get the other one from China. But it has Japanese text on it, but it's actually a Chinese product. Just read the labels. Make sure it's all natural stuff. Yeah. Well, yeah. Product of Japan. I cut the baby open, and you see, it is medium rare. There you go. This is what's up. And it's still bleeding. Not really. We got kind of soap left there. Um, for the ones who don't like just the taste of beef, but since beef is really plain flavor, you can always add in some barbecue sauce. I always like the sauce. Curly's hot and spicy barbecue sauce. So there you have it. So you guys have any suggestions or anything like that of what you want us to cook next? Type it in the comments right below. And uh, you'll see any of us in it. Probably can be there. Um, uh, if, yeah, maybe share his secret recipes. But yeah, type in the comments below if you guys want to cook anything else uh, or try to attempt to cook anything else. This is just one of the quick meals that you can do under like 20 minutes. Yeah, including this movie. If you know how to do everything at once, just timing it correctly. And cleaning up after that. And all that other stuff. Home cooking. Woo! We're out in 95 degrees weather. Where are we going, Joe? Las Vegas, baby. Las Vegas. And how far away are we right now? I don't know. We're in the middle of nowhere.